是破皮破皮破皮破，切破啥啥破死我得多。Welcome to Crime Time News, where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz. It seems as if some people, whenever they enter into any sorts of relationship, whether it is husband or wife, or just man and woman, they take that vow literally, meaning until D E A T H, do we part? It seems as if even when the men are wrong, they still want to take out the lady for leaving because she felt as if she's been slighted. She has been a b u s e d. The same can be said vice versa. Don't know why people feel as if whenever they are in any sorts of relationship, it is your life partner, or if that partner. Does not want to be your life partner. You want to take their life. I am speaking about an incident that occurred in a place called Somerset. Somerset is in Manchester, wherein a 41-year-old constable, his name is Damian Blair, he lost his life in a very sad, T R A G I C way. He lost his life at the hand of his own lady. This is his picture right here. That is her picture right there. Apparently, there was trouble in paradise, and he decided that listen, I am going to leave this lady. Me can't put up with this anymore. So he told her, he forewarned her that she was he was leaving, and people, it seems as if that would have been the mistake that he made. I am going to let you listen to a voice note with somebody that is supposed to be some sort of popo, knew about the situation, explaining exactly what went down. However, there is music in the background, so therefore I'll have to alter the audio. So therefore I will have to speed it up or slow it down. Take a listen, take a look at the beautiful bean footage, and then I'll give my piece. Yo, old man, I tell you, sir, to them, you see the youth, you see him? And he better inform them. Some officer them say, he might left the lady, you see it? When we get the call, I hear him say, drop out. The skate go up there, me and my power them, you see it? I will go up on the block, I tell you, sir, yo, you know the house is a mess. And the worst crime scene me ever go up on. You understand? Look like when Jackie be here, so the man I left. He fire some shot. You see, it, I catch him, and the one boy I try to take himself through the back door. You can't see spar him hand and blood are running off him and run from the wall and the door outside. And when the boy drop outside, you know the road, you know the cat go over him, you know, and use the carpenter hammer and rest it for him forehead and use the ball point hammer and beat out the head. You understand? Yeah, man, she didn't even move. F up. Yo. And then she just dropped the gun and the, the hammer and him something around at the back of the yard. You understand? And she'd have tried. I'm not going to try. She cut her hand and hoping that she'd have bleed out. But you don't know as a police, well, not me, though. The police, the first responder, them just, you know, bring her to the hospital. But I tell you. I want to the worst scene we ever go in. Uh. Go, 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 look, man. No joke. Uh, the police dead in the street. Literally in the street. You see it? Because the car didn't block off on the road. Because the man, I try, the man, I try to run from no man, you know. And drop and she just go over him and fuck him up. Yo, man, tell you. Yo. Now, people, like they say, there's always two sides to every story. Constable Blair side and whatever this lady has to say in a court of law. Don't know what type of relationship they had, obviously. Something went left, something went wrong. They could not coexist in the same house. People at once love each other. Turn to the biggest enemy. Them start for H A T E each other. So therefore I can only talk about what happened. 
based on the evidence that was there and people I have all of these videos too much of them and people to tell you the truth like you heard the person in the voice note said this was one of the worst C-R-I-M-E scenes this look like something when Leatherface Texas C-H-A-I-N saw M-A-S-S-A-C-R-E Chucky and the whole of them coordinated along with Mr. Manson. It was that bad. It was very B-R-U-T-A-L. Based on the evidence, based on what the Paul Paul crime scene investigators are saying, there was some sorts of domestic issue. It seems as if the lady was the aggressor. Don't know what type of job she has. Don't know if she has a licensed fire piece. Don't know if she got access to his fire piece. Don't know if he had his fire piece. However, he obviously was at a disadvantage. So therefore, based on the crime scene evidence, it seems as if she rushed him, start blaze up all sorts of con. Couple of them hit him. Him try to run through the grill. Try to take away himself was a bit not totally well not successful none at all he was hit up he was injured too badly in pass out outside of the yard outside of the house and based on the videos based on the pictures that i saw it is said that that was when she commenced to finish off the job with two separate armors so people him get some in him upper body meaning can in him head and then she starts to blaze blaze him up with the armor like some sorts of poker jump. It is said that after she did that, she went inside the house. When the poor poor came in, she was came to the house. She was barricaded in at the house behind the grills. While the man was outside laid out flat in a pool of his own. B-L-O-O-D. It is said that the poor poor spoke to her tried to get her to open the grill she would not they heard all sorts of sound inside of the house when them forced entry into the house them find her with the wrist bus they then transported her to the mandeville hospital she is presently there under treatment more than likely she is also under paw paw guard now based on what persons are saying, she has some sorts of mental issue. People, that is quite obvious, are either. She just flipped the lid right there. There was something, the straw that brought the camels back. More than likely, this officer knew the type of person he was in any sort of relationship with. She had a history of violence. She had a history of all sorts of conflict problem did did it it is quite obvious now people like me say people cannot coexist people cannot learn to live in the same place in a peace and harmony if you simply cannot coexist like civilized human beings whether you don't like each other whether the relationship grow apart it is best if you go east, that person go west, not south, vice versa. Whenever you start to see these signs of A, B, U, S, E. Whenever when you start get up every day and appear cos cos. Whenever it start gets from C, U, S, S to physical, then you know you do not need any other sites, sorts of sign. Unless there is divine intervention, Unless there is professional counseling, whatever start out bad, it is only going to get worse. It is only going to lead to persons getting H-U-R-T or even worse, losing their life. In this case, that was the case. As to whatever degree this lady was of insanity, people may not know, may not have no substantial proof. Yes, it is obvious that sane people do not act like this. However, people, sometimes people just flip them lid. 
them chip lick. And I am not saying that there is any sorts of justification for this lady's action because obviously she is now in the place of recovery and he is in a worse situation, gone in a very bad way. But me just as say, there's always two sides to the story. Sometimes the people that lose their life aren't always victims. And I am not saying that this man is not a victim. And I am not saying that whatever she did could ever be justified. But me just as say, sometimes things cause people to do things. And yes, once you're over a certain age, whatever decision that you make, you will have to live with it. And this was a very bad decision. But sometimes, some of the people that are the victims are sometimes the instigator. They act as if they are the victims. I am not saying that that is the case in this case, whatever the case is. If you cannot live together, coexist together, and live like civilized human beings, it is best if you go your separate ways, your opposite ways. So the moral of the story to all of this is that if you see the situation starts to get from bad to worse, from verbal to physical, where any sorts of violence comes into play, you do not have to wait for it to get as extreme as this. It is best if you take for yourself. It is best if you come to some sorts of amicable agreement. However, whenever love turns to hate in the worst degree, this is exactly what happens. People, this is so sad. At the end of the day, there is no sorts of winners. The family members, the loved ones, the co-workers, and if they have any sorts of children, however, they are both somebody's children, them have a mother, them have a father, them have brother, them have sister. A whole bunch of persons are now going to be in mourning because of the decisions that was made. Whoever was right, whoever was wrong, it turned out as bad as it could get. Well, not as bad because she too could have lost her life and persons might say she should have. But people like me say, whenever any sorts of life is lost, if these persons are not criminals, it is always a sad situation. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like these, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. Bless up.